is Dari from Network Team. Today we're gonna talking about very important topic they they call a ping with the Wireshark. How to analysis and how to uh, check the ping uh, ICMP protocol, Internet Communication Message Protocol, and how to understand the MTU traffic. Uh, then uh, after that, when you catch the idea or you catch the both ideas here then we we will jump into the very uh, interesting thing they call how the fragmentation is work how the fragmentation or how the packets fragment uh, and go to another side this is a simple lab here router one with the router two here and between them there is a ip here in this interface this interface is, is uh, f0 slash zero and f0 slash zero to another side as well as you see and the IP is for the router one is a 1.1.1 slash 24, which is me 255.255.255.0 subnet mask. Another side 1.1.1.2. I will do ping here between router one with the router two first to make sure everything is okay and the uh, connectivity is there. So this is my IP show IP interface. I believe you can see I have a 11 one and another side show IP interface brief so you can see another side 111.2 perfect now I just do ping to 111.2 it is work perfectly as you see here so I try again here the ping is work from router 2 as well ping to the 1111 is work perfectly as you can see here now I will try to start monitoring this link so I turn on the Wireshark through the cable here uh, they asked me do you need to capture from router 2 to router 1 or you can change it to R1 to router 2 so I do ping from this guy or even you can do ping from router 2 as well because the reply will be capturing anyway so I just say okay now the capture start so right click start Wireshark so the capture is comes up here okay so the capture in front of you there is no any traffic through the cable only loop protocol and we were going to turn on the icmp uh, traffic or regeneration icmp traffic from router one to router two so i just go here and i say ping or maybe better to start from router one. So I just say ping to 111.2. Then I say repeat one only, one time I need to repeat because by default, uh, there is a five packets. Pay attention here, five packets goes from router one to router two here. So I say repeat only one. So I just say enter means one traffic is go to router two one packet only. where is this packet you can see here this is the packets go from router one 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 to router two then router two reply to router one so means each packet they have a two line perfect now when i say click here you can see this simple go from this side to another side and so on so now i can monitoring only icmp i just write it down here icmp then i just press go from here which has helped me to monitoring all the icmp traffic perfect now by default when i go here i need to see the data maximum or by default first by default in icmp or ping or icmp protocol how much so when i click here and i go to internet control message protocol which is icmp then i go drop down here and i say the data is 72 but I know the ping is used 100 byte, 100 byte, but now I receive it long or I receive it my data, it is only 72. Uh, that is a 20 or there is a 28 byte. Where is it 28 byte? By the way, the data ICMP always generation like a random data, you can see 00, zero whatever, because you just need to send 100 byte over there. But right now, we have only 72 where is the rest where is the rest okay the first this is a 8 byte for the icmp protocol is use it for that protocol header so 8 byte in front of you here this is for 
ICMP protocol. Perfect. Now, 80 plus 72, we have 80, 80. Perfect. Where is another 20? Because we use IP address, internet protocol, it is use 20 byte for header. So where is the 20 byte? You can go to internet protocol over here, V4, and you can see this is the 20 byte over there. Now, 20 plus, where is the 8 plus 8? This is a 28 plus 72, so mm, uh, the result is 100, which is the default byte for any traffic or any packets from ICMP protocol, ping, go, and come back. Uh, this is the default size. Can I play with this size and can I monitoring what's going on here? Yes, this is actually our subject today. So I go here in router one here, so I issue ping, uh, before that, I just say show interface F0 slash 0 or show IP interface, show IP interface F0 slash 0, pipe included MTU. I need to see the MTU, it should be capital MTU here. You see my MTU in this interface is 1500 byte, means maximum I can send from router 1 to router 2 in this link uh, maximum each packet should be 1500 byte. I can send more, but maximum each packet should be that size uh, by default maximum. Can more than that? Of course can, we will see. Now, uh, you can see maximum 1500 byte. So now I say config, uh, so I say ping again, ping to 1112 repeat one time only because i need on one packet and study that packet for more details and more focusing to one packet then i say right now here size question mark i can go until 180 1024 uh, byte right now i just say 1500 0, 0, because my interface say maximum uh, or my maximum transmission unit it is 1500 0, 0. so i just say enter here you can see i have a reply here perfect the result over here as well okay so forgot the first one second one more focusing to the uh, down one which is uh, just now with the one five zero zero can i see the traffic yes now one thousand four hundred seventy two so where should be one thousand five hundred don't forget we have a eight byte is considered for icmp and we have a 20 byte for what for the IP header over here okay the header long so the result now uh, uh, 1500 minus a, a, a 28 the result is 1400 or 1472 byte perfect until now everything goes smoothly and everything fine now we need to test if we have a more than 1000 byte can we send 1000 byte and what will going on? So I just say here, no, I don't need 1000. I need 1000, I don't need 1500, I need 1600. Now 100 or 100 extra, okay? Now I say enter, I have a reply, everything fine now. By wondering how the traffic if from the router one send 1600 just now the interface here, here say I cannot go more than 1500 how to allow go 1600 to another side and how this guy also reply why how okay the tricky here because uh, you can go here and you can see uh, the last two packets here, which is the last ping. So I just go down here. I say 1572. Exactly, because it plus 28, the result is 1600, 0, 0, 1600. But the question here, how send over there? Okay, because any packets more than 1500 according to the fast ethernet here the mtu more than mtu or more than the size for mtu there is something they call fragmentation will be work okay fragment the uh, router here or the interface will be divided the packets more than 1500 from the uh, fragment 
which is means more than 1500 1500 more than that will be divided okay divided how many parts let's say now our example 1600 mean 100 extra which is mean one part will be 1500 and the plus 100 okay so don't forget this part this part i mean one uh, this part 1500 it is not really 1500, 1472, right? Will be plus 100, okay? And this one within one package, mean the fragments should be coming with one package only. Don't uh, go wrong. You think maybe I will divide it 1600. Remember, we're talking about 1600. 1600. Don't thought maybe this one is sent as a two packets. No, one packets inside this packets. They have something they call fragmentations. One part will be 1500, which is as a result minus. A 24 IP minus 84 ICMP protocol, so the result 14 1472 plus 100 by, so the result it is 1600. Can we say can we see that in the Wireshark? Yes, of course. Pay attention with me here. We go to the first packets, let's say here, and when we go to to the IP internet protocol, there is no option for fragmentation here. But when we go to the second one, 150, this one, 15, maximum MTU is okay as well. But when we go to that packet, the last one, we have a some option here is a very important. They call IP or they call, uh, they call a IP or number two, IPv4 fragments. And you can see they will do fragments and they can give you this options here, one four eight zero here they don't talking about icmp icmp later on will be minus eight okay and they say the fragment will be hundred this is the extra actually okay but why say one four eight zero because this is the ip ip minus 20 so we have one five or one thousand five hundred minus 20 the result is is one four eight zero as as you can see here Okay, so it means now, uh, this is they call what they call fragments in the IP part, you can see here. And they show you what they show you, this, uh, the segments value here, 100 byte. Remember, again, this option here, always uh, coming like this, this is actually is selected by Wireshark with the bracket here. So, uh, let's say, for example, again, we go to another packets here. We don't have this option, you can see here, we don't have this option here in the internet protocol but now the result you can see with me here now the result it is uh the data i mean it is 1572 right so why 1572 i send 1600 why 1572 because a plus 20 for ip and the plus 8 the result how much 1600 byte okay 1600 byte so you can see here the fragments here and you have to know you see the fragments here is coming with the one package we're talking about only one package don't think the fragmentation goes for more than one package one package inside the package inside the ip header the fragmentation will be done over here okay so this is uh, what I try to say today and what I try to show you for this lab here and when you understand this one actually you understand the fragmentation well done uh, uh, last thing I need to prove this uh, things I need to uh, do some configuration or some test and I need to turn off the fragmentation we have some command with the with the ping they call DF bit which is means don't fragment can we do that uh, yes, I go here and I will use the same command just now. Just I added DF, which is mean, please don't divide anything inside the packets. Send one packets 1600 byte, which is cannot. The interface maximum can follow the MTU maximum transmission unit, which is 1500. Of course, the result is request time it out. You can see there is no traffic or no, the ping is doesn't work here because this is more 
uh, than MTU and we don't have any mechanism or we don't have any technology help us to divide it, these things. We don't have a fragmentation. We put it here, uh, don't fragment. That's why request time it out. Of course, in Wireshark, there is nothing comes up here because the ping is doesn't work and request time it out. I hope this information is useful for you. Thank you and see you later.